Hey guys, Daisy here, and today I'm actually kind of doing an update slash review. So, I hope you guys had a great holiday season, whatever holiday that you celebrated, and you know, I just hope it was a good one. Now that New Year's Eve is coming up, we're going to have a whole lot of partying going on. So, this is actually going to kind of be a first for me. Um, pardon me if I keep like looking over to the side because I'm actually using a new camera. I got a new camera for Christmas. And I got this Samsung, um, it looks like this, <laughs> and it's the F40, I guess, so it's really nice, it's red, it's pretty. So I like it a whole lot, and I think it's going to be working a lot better than my old one, so hopefully you guys notice some kind of difference in this video. So that's one of the big updates. And, you know, I got a lot of good Christmas presents. I had a really good Christmas, and... You know, now New Year's Eve is coming up, so I've got tons of ideas for things I want to do. Um, I think I want to do a, like, New Year's Eve outfit kind of um, fashion segment, I guess. And then I kind of also want to do a New Year's Eve makeup look for you guys. So I'm probably going to be thinking about that and working on it. Um, I have another few days off of work, so I'll probably be working on that while I'm off. So today's review is actually going to be a perfume review. I don't do a lot of perfume reviews. I have a lot of perfumes, but I haven't actually had a chance to really review any of them. I did kind of like a my go-to perfumes and my Mark Citrus Bloom fragrance, I think it was called. And I really like those, but I haven't actually did like a review of every perfume that I have. So if you guys do want to see more perfume reviews and of any of the perfumes that I already do have, I will go ahead and do those for you guys. But today's perfume is actually going to be a perfume that I received for Christmas. And it's been a long time coming, so I'm sure that this perfume's been out for... I'm sorry, my phone's going off. Um, this perfume's probably been out for at least a few months now, if not a year. I'm not really sure exactly when it came out. But um, it's the Britney Spears Believe, and I actually got it in a gift set. So I came with this and the lotion. And it didn't actually come in the box that, you know, the little square box that you guys would usually see because it was in a gift set. But still, it came with this really large bottle. This is the 3.3 ounce bottle. So it's like the biggest bottle I think that you can get. And it has a really nice packaging and everything. Even when you buy it, just the perfume by itself, the box packaging is really nice. I have seen it, though mine didn't come with it. And it kind of has this little, like, top that comes off, just like this. And the part right there kind of has the Britney Spears symbol thingy-majig right over there. And it's kind of a weird shape. It's like a really odd prism kind of shape or whatever. So it's a huge bottle for the money. And mine happened to come with the lotion. Um, if you buy it by itself, it probably won't. But it came with this lotion here. And it actually says body souffle, but as we all know, body souffle means body lotion. So the perfume um, and the lotion smell the same. So my opinions on this perfume are that it's pretty much perfect for anyone. Um, you know, I would give this to my mom. I would give this to my grandma. <laughs> I would give it to my friend. And, you know, they could all wear it and pull it off because it's just that kind of scent. It's not youthful, but it's not mature. It's just an in-between kind of scent, perfect for anyone. So, this isn't really a perfume that I would wear at night. It's not something that I would wear if I was going out to a club or going out with the girls at night or just going out with a group of friends. It's probably something that I would actually just wear if I was going to work or if I was going to school or just like out during the day. To me, it's more of a daytime perfume. It's definitely not really a nighttime kind of scent for me um, because for me, a nighttime scent is something that is really, um, I don't know how to say, sophisticated, kind of out there, kind of kind of bold, um, you know, definitely a stronger scent. And this scent is actually very strong when you put it on. At first, it seems a little bit overwhelming. It You get this really, really fruity smell, and, you know, you're like, whoa, I don't want to smell like a fruit salad. 
So, but actually once the scent kind of airs out a little bit, it's definitely much more manageable. It's really actually kind of a nice scent once the scent actually dries up a little bit. So, you know, for me, I think that it's definitely a fruity, kind of citrusy smell. It's, um, it's not really floral. It's, it's definitely just more like a fruit citrus smell. And in the description, it actually kind of gives you a little bit of the types of things that you might smell, like peach, um, honeysuckle. I think there might have even been jasmine. Don't quote me on it, but I think there might have been some. Um, so it definitely has more of a citrusy smell. And as far as the length of how long it lasts, um, you know, I'd have to say probably seven to eight hours. It is, you know, it's not really, really long. Like, you don't wake up the next day and you still smell it. But it's definitely there. It's it's there for most of the time. You might have to reapply it later on that night if you're going to wear the same scent all day. But for the most part, it stays there, though it does get quite a bit more toned down throughout the day. So I really do like this perfume. Um, you know, it's something that I was actually kind of interested in because I like a lot of the other Britney Spears fragrances except for the Midnight Fantasy one. I really didn't like that at all. It was extremely sweet and fruity and I did not like it. Um, this one is definitely a lot more toned down. I definitely like it a lot better than the Midnight Fantasy. And I actually haven't smelled Curious, though I hear that it smells really good. Um, so I'm thinking about kind of picking that up next. So I hope you guys will consider buying this perfume. It definitely is a pretty good value for the money. Most of Britney Spears perfumes are. They are, you know, inexpensive, but they are still a pretty large size and you get a good amount. And you get it what would you pay for, you know. It's, it's definitely a good... Um, deal because it is a good quality perfume. So I guess that kind of ends my very kind of short review on this perfume. I don't like to go into like extreme detail or anything but if you guys have any questions just you know leave your questions down below and I'll do my best to answer them. And like I said, I can go ahead and try to do some other perfume reviews if you guys are interested as well. I love perfumes, so I'm always adding perfumes to my perfume collection. And I'm thinking that from now on, whenever I add a perfume to my collection, I'm going to do a review on it. Because I definitely enjoy watching fragrance reviews, and so I'm going to kind of try to do some of my own as well. So, with that being said, I hope you guys found this short review kind of helpful. Um, you know, it's it's definitely a really nice scent. And the lotion, just as the perfume, lasts a pretty long while. Um, I tried just a little bit on. I haven't really quite worn it yet. But it definitely lasted me throughout pretty much half of the day. So... It's definitely worth it. It's a good value and a lot of her perfumes are really just good quality perfumes so I do recommend them. Um, and my gift set, I'm not sure how much it was, but I think if you want to buy the actual perfume in this size, um, you'll probably be paying somewhere between $20 and $30. It might be like a couple dollars over $30. I'm not really sure, though I have seen them in the store for that amount. So. Um, I can check on that for you guys and post it up in the description box below so you can find out more information. And um, yeah, so I hope you guys will stay tuned to my channel because I will have some New Year's Eve looks coming up. And if I don't get to see you before then, which I'm sure I will, <laughs> you all have a great New Year's Eve and a great New Year with lots of wonderful things. But I'm pretty sure I'll be doing a New Year's Eve look before then. So I guess I'll catch you guys later. And bye!